Hello everyone. Welcome to VA Tech Talks. In this video, we are going to talk about very interesting as well as the very important interview question. Even real time also, we are going to use this option. Okay, it's very, very important. So what is the question first? API RAML sync in AnyPoint Studio. Okay, so why do we need to sync? So you can assume we have a requirement to develop Calci API. So we have designed two endpoints. One is for addition and one is for subtraction. So this is one requirement. Then design is done and development also we have completed. Now, later on one month or two months, okay, there is a requirement you need to add multiplication as well as division. Okay. You know how to design the RAML. So you will go to design center and you will add the corresponding code. Okay, that's fine. Now I want to import this RAML. I want to import this RAML and I want to start development without, without deleting the existing flow. So I want to keep this flow as well as, and I want to add this flow also. I'll show you the real time example here. Okay. Now, if you observe, so earlier we have developed, okay. Earlier we have developed, one is for get addition, one is for subtraction. Okay, this is done and this is in my production. Okay, later on there is a requirement. I want to add multiplication as well as division. Multiplication as well as division. Okay, I'll go to design center and I have completed the design for, for multiplication as well as division. So here we have four endpoints. So here we have only two endpoints. So how to sync it? Okay, it's very simple. Go to your project. So here you can see there are two options. One is manage dependencies, one is any point platform. If you go with download RAML from design center, it is going to arrange. I mean, it will take the entire RAML code from design center and it is going to arrange your logics. I don't want to arrange this. I want to keep all these logics and I want to add new endpoints. Okay, it's very, very important. For this, go to manage dependencies, click on manage APIs. Okay, click on manage APIs. So here you can see, here you can see, okay, let me remove this. Here you can see APIs option. APIs option, click on this API, click on this plus button, click on this from exchange. Okay, from exchange. So here you need to type which API you want to scaffold, okay? Calci. See here. So this is this is my API. Click on this add, okay? Click on this add. Now click on finish here. Now click on apply. See here. Do you want to scaffold API specification? Yes. Click on OK. Apply and close it. Apply and close it. See now, now you can see we have put and post here. So without deleting the existing project, we are going to, we are going to scaffold the project. Okay. So this is very, very important. Even interviews also, even in real time try to remember the options, okay? So it's very simple. Let's go to right click, manage dependencies and manage APIs. So here you need to select your API from exchange, that's it. And you have to scaffold the project. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching this. Happy learning.